has gone before. Kobowa, Konnichiwa, and Yobaseo. We'll hear the Paul and Tai Chi talking about Twisted Priorities, Part 2, First Lady's Shoes, as it relates to, see the slideshow, the montage coming up, CNN's bad timing of a reporter in there after these people have already gone through a four, six, eight hour ordeal after being rescued. Now, to Fox News' credit, see not trashing CNN, Laura Ingram, she seems to have got her centricity hat back since uh, defendant Cheney's decision and uh, you know rare moments of yes I still try to cover or pop in once in a while MSNBC and CNN <whistles> how they used to be all right so all, all these fools up here where were they five six years ago <laughs> doesn't matter but be advised I mean anybody like, yeah, how do I say this? Talking to an audience who is pro this sort of subject matter, I would suggest to be advised to those others who think, oh, there will be a Twitter storm about it and then it will go away. Oh, there will be an excerpt on and on Fox News or maybe even CNN and MSNBC. It's possible. And then it will go away. <clears throat> Not in the Twitter, YouTube sphere. Not with centrist types like myself. And that's the reason for the Paul Rant. Roll. Here's the weird thing. I mean, I don't personally have strong feelings about Melania Trump one way or the other. I don't know her, but I do remember really well the rule that all of us learned during the last campaign. Hillary Clinton taught it to us, and that is when you criticize one woman, you're criticizing all women. An attack on one is an attack against all. Yeah. But Melania seems like she's getting an exemption from that. How does this work? Uh all right. So that speaks to, you know, what's coming up as opposed to CNN, Fox News didn't have any reporters there going, hey, how do you feel right now? They were out there as it was happening. Paul Tai Chi was there watching, covering stuff, cat capturing snippets as you see coming up, including one of the best interviews of a sister I've ever seen. I'm gonna salute now because Houston Texans, wearing your gear, you don't need me to tell you. I mean, although I can, it's 6'3", 255. I can do that. But you got to do your namesakes. you got two of them. Proud. Best interview coming up. This gal was under duress five hours after the fact. This other gal on crutches had every right to feel the same way, but she didn't. Why? Again, Fox News has sense. Throughout their punditry, even Hannity sort of come around, Laura Ingram, here's a rare shot at MSNBC. Americans helping other Americans, ethnicity not required. All right, mostly do as we're up there, real close. In a pair of high heels, many outlets and pundits decided those heels were proof that the First Lady is a modern-day Marie Antoinette. The Daily Beast said Melania Trump heads to Houston in hurricane zone in sky-high stilettos. Writer Maria Del Russo dubbed her, quote, Flood Watch Barbie, and added, quote, this outfit literally screams I'm an out-of-touch elitist and what is a hurricane? The New York Times tried philosophically to ask the question, when is a shoe not just a shoe? Whether well, headlines <clears throat> caused it or not, by the time she landed, Melania Trump had changed into sneakers. She was not seen eating cake. Tammy Bruce is a radio show host, and she joins us tonight. So I'm reading these, uh, Tammy. I'm not much of a huge feminist or anything, but I bet you Maria De La Russo is. Yeah. And yet here she is judging a woman on her footwear. That sounds like the war on women to me. I mean, what do I know as a man? I, take it away. Look, uh, clearly a lot of sexism going on there. But you know what it's really based in? They, they, they're harpies. They're jealous and they're envious. Melania Trump is a woman who is dressed always appropriately based on the circumstance. She exited the White House in a pair of heels she felt was appropriate, and yet a pair of slacks and a jacket, clearly going to an airplane which already had her change of clothes 
prepared for her to change into so that she'd be ready for what she needed to be wearing going into that disaster zone. But, you know, the, 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 the Trump haters, people who prefer to think badly of other people, are going to do this. Also, uh, the First Lady is very well liked. Uh, she's had tremendous impact with where she goes. Uh, she, she, she makes a big difference. Uh, the President clearly also has helped a lot of people based on his enthusiasm and his encouragement, which is part of his job, of course. And I think they just want to kind of drag other people down. The American people see that for what it is, but uh, I think obviously most of us are very, uh, very proud of the First Lady. Well, here's the weird thing. I mean, I don't personally have strong feelings about Melania Trump one way or the other. I don't know her, but I do remember really well the rule that all of us learned during the last campaign. Hillary Clinton taught it to us, and that is when you criticize one woman, you're criticizing all women. An attack on one is an attack against all. Yeah. But Melania seems like she's getting an exemption from that. How does this work? Uh, I, I think that of course, that they're being hypocritical, and they say that when it works for them. Uh, at the same time, you've got Melania Trump, who really does uh, exemplify the nature of somebody who is doing what she wants to do, uh, is in, in charge of her environment, uh, is proud of her appearance, knows what it's like, and, and chooses to approach a, being first lady in a way that it can make all of us proud. But mostly what it is, too, is, is, again, I come back to the issue of what you have like the mean girls at school. You have somebody who comes in that people are jealous uh, and then they attack her because uh, either it's unfamiliar or they, they see what they want to see because they, they can't admit that in fact this couple is good for the country, that Melania Trump is, is good also when it comes to the issues she's working on as a great mother, has a great reputation in New York for uh, how she's taking care of Barron and, and her household. So uh, I think that this is also when you're dealing with a, a group like, I don't know, Vanity Fair uh, and People Magazine, uh, who really make a living on either telling people how to live or highlighting right. the rich and famous, I think it's a little hypocritical at that point. Well, yeah, it's definitely, it's situational feminism. I'd love to get a list of the women who are protected from criticism and those who aren't. Maybe we'll, they'll be published someday. Okay, yeah. so to CNN, uh, it's, uh, I've got to admit, I feel a little guilty showing this video because I, I've had some uncomfortable interviews myself. Probably nothing quite like this, though. The network tried to talk to a flood survivor in Houston today and got this response. Watch. Y'all trying to interview people during their worst time. Like, that's not the smartest thing to do. Like, people Sorry. are really breaking down, and y'all sitting here with cameras and microphones trying to ask us what the f is wrong with me shivering cold, with my kids wet, and you still putting a microphone Sorry. in my face. Sorry. So, Flores, uh, it sounds like you've got a very upset family there. Yeah, it, it does sound like a very upset family, but sure. upset specifically at CNN. I mean, can you think of anything more unsettling having survived a natural disaster than dealing with the cable news network? Well, look, we've seen this, though. This is something that most Americans have wanted to say to reporters who, who try to catch people at their most vulnerable, either in an evacuation situation, an emergency, at a funeral. It's almost like disaster porn or grief porn. And, and she said what I think a lot of Americans say when, when you get into this. But also, I would have to say that with all the new media, with uh, everyone being uh, exposed to so much media and being in the media, I think people might be feeling a lot more comfortable to say what's on their mind these days. Trump, that's fine. This is about as low as you get when you attack the shoes of the First Lady as she's going to help people out that are still, that have lost everything. I can't even imagine yeah, how I mean, we got to this point. Uh, well, I think it's, it's a sign of how desperate the left is. It's a sign of how... Uh, absolutely unhinged they are and I love how they're they're always for individual expression expression in your sexuality expression in your in this, your views on abortion your expression on a whole bunch of things but now you can't express yourself in the way you dress I mean they're for dressing in all manner of crazy uh, crazy fashion choices except you know, Melania for like some period of time decides she wants to wear heels then she had sneakers on Big deal. We have a catastrophe in Texas. We're dealing with it the best we can. The people of Texas coordinating with the feds. States are doing. A, state is doing. I think a tremendous job under Greg Abbott. I'm so glad you had him on tonight. What a star. Uh, and I think people are grateful that they actually have leadership that can navigate a, a, a once in a lifetime, once in a century weather event. This is really hard. And the best all of the South gonna need help, especially Texas and some parts of Louisiana. 
I you should, need help. I should thank you so much. I appreciate it. And again, um, I think what Tyler's doing is great. I think other people should give. I think that's the example we should all set. We appreciate you. Keep in touch. Let us know if you need anything. Thank you so much. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for me being able to share my story to help other people. I didn't do it for fame or anything. I did it because I wanted to bring awareness to people and tell them what's going on in the world and what other people are going through. Because this is real life. You get to yeah, I, have a, I got you. I got you. Are you okay? Yes, yes. What's your name? Sean. Sean? Yes. All right, we will make sure you get it. All right, did you injure yourself in this process? In this process, no. Prior to it. You got a big smile on your face. I'm guessing you're glad to get out of there. Happy to be gone. It's a terrible situation. I have a hill apartment, and it's not a great situation. Not a great situation? Yeah. There's a lot of people left behind that, that would like to get rescued. After where is she? How many people? I, I went where? Where? The complex is over a thousand residents there. And then can you tell us where, over a thousand residents, where where exactly are they? Good at Race Mud by close to Chimney Rock. Ask you to repeat that, please. Yes. Chimney Rock. Uh huh. Thank you. That's Chimney Rock. Chimney Rock, Rock is a road, and is it South Bracewood? Uh, North Bracewood. North Bracewood in Chimney Rock. Yes. Correct. And do you have someone here? Uh, where? Yes. yes. Would you walk us through? Um, what what happened? When did you know you were in trouble? Last night, when it wouldn't stop. And the water's, I'm upstairs, but the water was coming up the stairs that led to my apartment door. And then my neighbors from downstairs came upstairs. And then the, the roof started leaking in the inside. So it was time to go. And it's not getting any better. It's not getting any better. You know, I, I think we may hear a little bit of a debate about whether or not people might have wanted to be uh, advised to, to evacuate. Uh, now, uh, at this point, had you been encouraged? Been prepared for a flood, but nothing like this, of course. And are you from here? Have you been to a flood? I'm from here. Yes, I am. But nothing, never dealt with anything like this before. I've been in a flood, I've been in, in the hurricanes, but nothing like this before. Nothing like this. And um, are you worried? Uh, we, we're uh, not too far from nightfall, and you said there's thousands of people back there? Uh, are you Knob Hill Complex houses over a thousand residents. It's a very large complex. Yeah, you they have to come to get to the Walgreens parking lot, literally in water up to here, with snakes and frogs. Alligators. And how I, Did you see alligators? And rats. I think I seen an alligator. So that was enough for me. All right. And dry. I, I want to see, uh, do you see a family member? I just want to make sure you're not walking by yourself because this is, okay. They came up before me, one of them came before me, so I just saw her. Right, I'm not trying to give you the longest interview in, in uh, television history so much as I just don't want you to, uh, do, do you, can I tell you, I tell you what, instead of talking to me, could you just get on this side and help her so she can get to her daughters? All right. You take care, and, and just one, one last time, the name of that complex where the people are, it is best. Apartments and what's the other one? Uh, uh, village and, uh, village Remodel Inn. Village Remodel Inn. Come on, guys. I heard that. Yeah. It's funny. You know, uh, in dealing with the mock dealing with the Marlin area. Now here's where you're going to hear Arthel uh, step in and be like, hey, New York look it up. Got yeah, yeah, there, no, there was Arthel an Neville. evacuation order, but you know, you got bayous. These are, you know, the low-lying concrete areas in neighborhoods. Uh, could you ask perhaps, why didn't the city maybe evacuate 20, 30 blocks along the bayous versus someplace else? I mean, uh, we haven't had any indication of that. That's like the... You know, the Lower Ninth Ward, for example, uh, if, if officials know you have a low-lying area, should there be an emergency plan to evacuate the low-lying areas? <laughs> you know, Griff, let me jump in. Griff, I'm going to jump in for you. What, don't, let's let these lovely people go. Uh, they don't have that answer. Uh, I'm sure those are the questions that they're going to want to have answers to as well. Let, let this lady get to safety. Uh, you and I and Eric will continue uh, talking for a little bit more here. And uh, Griff... 
you know, it, it, that's, a, that's an issue. It, I mean, it, 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 it will be an issue. Will be asked because if you look at the map of Houston, you, you've got these water canals uh, that just overflow, and those neighborhoods.